between China and the Europe. Uh, I think this is a golden age. While we are sending customers to Europe, we are bringing the world closer. Uh, CTRIP is very much uh, excited about the opportunities to increase the international exchange and to promote world peace. Uh, Europe is a beautiful area and lots of Chinese people are very interested in learning about the history, uh, the culture and the people in this area. Uh, by bringing more Chinese people in this region, uh, I'm sure we will bring lots of value to promote the world peace and international cultural exchange. Let's work hard to bring great value uh, to the world. Thank you. with China are very important for Europe, as you know. Good relations are a priority for us. Uh, the, the building is designed by the famous designer Saha Hadidi. Uh, some of you have visited it. Yes, uh, these are the two, <laughs> two buildings we have. Uh, hopefully, uh, our team will become a globalized team, which uh, in the future will have an opportunity to work with you and bring the voice of China to the world and also bring more people from the world to China. Only then, I think, uh, uh, East and West uh, globalization will be realized. Uh, I, I always feel tremendous responsibility uh, to bring the people from Europe, from the United States, from China together. A better world, our trouble can play, right? Bring peace to the world. I think that's most meaningful, the best way we can bring value to the whole world. So that's our mission. I want, and so we talk about what is trouble. Uh, the Chinese teaching is, it's better to travel 10,000 miles than reading 10,000 books. Uh, trouble is learning we have our in internal incubating system. On the other hand, we also have our investment vehicles. In case our incubating system didn't work, we missed some good idea, our investment arm will reach out to make investments. So for accommodation, we funded China Airbnb, Home in China Lodging, Budget Hotel. Transportation, we made an investment in Skyscanner, uh, uh, which is in UK, to expand our footprint. In vacation plan. Um, so in terms of communication in China, this is very interesting data because what this shows us, obviously WeChat is the number one communication tool that people are using for their work, but not just, not just communication with family and friends, but for work. Um, but also email down here, you can see email has got very low adoption rate compared to uh, in Europe. And once you go outside of tier one cities, into the, outside of Beijing and Shanghai, into the rest of China, it drops even further. Um, once you go outside of um, international organizations, which are mostly based in tier one, um, very few people use WeChat, uh, sorry, use uh, email on a regular basis. For the travel industry, in way which we would be able to, we are able to put forward to airports, to hotels, to museums, to restaurants, simple requirements that, from a practical point of view, on the one hand, allow Chinese travelers to pay with uh, payment gateways that are familiar to them, see news that are familiar to them, have the understanding that hot water is part of the Chinese culture whilst at the same time not changing the experience that the Chinese travelers want to enjoy when they are abroad. Because here it is not a matter of changing who we are or what we offer, it is a matter of understanding a different culture and understanding how some practical aspects can facilitate the travel.
of the Chinese person. Because we can hear you loud and clear on both sides uh, uh, of, uh, of our Silk Road, uh, China and the EU, that visa facilitation is the game changer. And the 2018 EU-China Tourism Year is a way to focus on this. So. The European Travel Commission has been talking for a long time about the importance of the Chinese uh, travel market, about the fact that Chinese travelers is travelers of the future, and that we should learn to understand the Chinese traveler and to offer a better experience and to attract more of them. Because still Europe is lacking behind a lot of other markets who have been very wise to attract Chinese visitors. We really need to, to, to go a long way to that. And hopefully, and thankfully also to the European Commission um, and the EU China Tourism Year next year, we're going to do that. And we will count a lot on, on sea trip uh, in this mission. Thank you. to invite Jane Jesun, CEO of China's leading travel agency, Citri.com, as well as one of the most influential business women in China's tech scene, to come to the European Parliament and we meet with President Tajani, as well as uh, key several members of the European Parliament, to discuss the importance to boost EU-China EU digital tourism. As it was mentioned also several times during the conversations, Next year will mark the EU-China Year of Tourism, with many initiatives in place to promote Europe as a better destination for Chinese travelers, also by promoting a better policy framework. Indeed, while Europe uh, is one of the top destinations worldwide for tourism, actually last year, in 2016, only around 10 million uh, Chinese people visited our region, and that is out of a total of 122 million Chinese outbound tourists. China U is keen to work together with the European institutions as well as the Chinese uh, industry to boost uh, these numbers. In particular, our goal is to explore the way that uh, digital platforms, and here we go from uh, online booking applications to social media channels, as well as uh, e-commerce uh, solutions, uh, can actually turn Europe into a more Chinese-friendly traveling destination. And to this end, it's uh, actually very important that Europe becomes smarter and adopts uh, some of the very digital tools used by the Chinese people at home. And to this, uh, I mean, regarding this topic, it was also very interesting uh, during the discussions to hear from Matthew Brennan, an expert of China's digital marketing ecosystem, about, uh, about this topic. And especially about the importance uh, that uh, WeChat plays in the everyday lives of the Chinese netizens. Great talk this afternoon uh, with the CEO of C Trip, Jane, uh, and myself doing stuff about WeChat. We were talking about China digital ecosystem. We were talking about China uh, travel uh, industry. I think there's a lot of uh, stuff and a uh, lot of things that, for Europe in particular, that we can be doing better uh, to encourage Chinese tourism and for European businesses to work better and manage the Chinese. Uh, digital ecosystem better. So um, overall, it was great to, to meet everyone. I hope to be back again soon.